Hello everyone, I'm Iron Phoenix and welcome to Minecraft. Or rather, welcome to Industrial Craft because that's exactly what we're going to be looking at today. These are this is going to be a basics tutorial and then there'll be a couple more afterwards with various different um, sections of industrial craft which aren't really very well documented and these are things that I've, been, I've done through trial and error and just scavenged from various parts of the internet found out what works etc etc so this is going to be a basics so basic basic change of industrial craft is that now power isn't sent um, per tick it's they're sent in packets so there'll be a certain buffer and then it will send out a packet of um, EU what this means is that if you say you, you can't have loads of generators hooked to a bat box anymore because you're sending a you're not sending an LV signal anymore you're sending a packet of, of information but the way, best way to show you this is with generators cables in a bat box so quick thing about cables now they will all say how much EU they can with, withstand so 10 cable is now useful it can hold um, 32 EU um, but you might end up just using copper anyway um, to start with I have been using tin and tin cables are now used in uh, sort of tier 1 recipes the recipes have also changed so it's worth just looking in your NEI just to make sure that you've got you know if you, you are having problems making something that you are actually using the right recipe because things have changed so what we've, we're going to have here is cable, bat box and four generators now the bat box can output and thus input um, 32 EU a tick. Um, that's the, the um, that's the maximum amount of packet that can it can accept, and that's the maximum packet that it will output. So it will wait for it to have 32 EU before it sends it on. Each generator has a power output of 10 EU at the max. So, if you have three generators outputting to a bat box, you are sending the bat box 30 EU for each packet. If you've got a fourth generator on there, it's going to send 40 EU and it's going to blow the bat box because the bat box can only accept 30 or oh, 32. So, as a much more um, obvious way of doing things. So let's just separate this. So 16 in there, and it's fine. 16 in there, it's fine. 16 in there, it's fine. So that's all generating power. 16 in there, blows the bat box. So what this means for you is that you have to be a lot more conscious of how you're setting up your electrical networks. It's no longer separated into what's an, what. LV, uh, MV, HV and EV it's much more separated into how much power you're putting through the network and where things are going as a result you can have um, transformers on there you can have transformer upgrades in your machines to make to allow them to accept uh, larger packets of uh, of EU so that's all something to take into account but yeah, you have to be very, very aware of what, how much power you're producing and how much power you can hold and how much power your machines and your storage units can actually stand. So on the server, I can't show you at the moment because the server's down, but um, on the server that I'm, I play on, I use reactors and they've got a variable output. So I've got to think about that as well, um, how much power that the reactor is outputting so I don't go and blow something further on down the chain which is fun uh, industrial craft also adds that they've changed the storage units around so bat box is your standard 40,000 
you have a C, is it CSU? Yeah, this thing, which is basically your old, it's half what the MFE held, but it um, does your 128 packets. Your MFE is now 4 million EU and it outputs 512. And yes, I do use that. Um, I've got a reactor outputting into an MFE that outputs to an upgraded uh, thermal centrifuge, but we'll get in, into that sort of stuff in the next video. And we have our MFSU, which outputs um, 2048 packets, and it's got, uh, it's that 400 million, 40 million, something like that. Uh, yeah, 40 million EU. So that's up from 10 million EU, and that's up from 600,000 EU. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have to say on the matter for the moment. Just a quick basic: watch your power outputs and inputs. Any questions as usual, uh, just dump them into the description. And thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.